Here's a quick demo on free transform with Illustrator. Currently, you can see this text uh, is not lined up with the perspective in the space, and that's because the text resists your efforts to distort it using something like the free transform tool. So I want to demonstrate how to make it look more like uh, it actually belongs in that scene according to the perspective. So just a few steps. Pick a color, make your text. It's at this point where you want to use any of those character manipulation tools because after this next step, you won't be able to do something, say, like uh, alter the kerning. So I might say, I want the letters closer together, farther apart, change the font, all that kind of stuff. You need to do that now because the next step is going to take away these options. So what you might do is get it about right, make a duplicate copy just for safety's sake holding option and dragging. And now I'm ready to do the trick to this, which is to render it into shapes. Right now it's text. It can be selected and altered, but I can't distort it in the way that I want to get it to, to fit into the perspective of this image. So do you remember the tool to make it into shape information? In Illustrator, it's expand, object expand. Click okay on that. Now click on the free transform tool and you'll see these other options show up. First off, let's just rotate this into position, roughly, kind of like that. Next, click the bottom most one, which gives you free distort. Now, just drag these corners to line up with the perspective of the image. And this can take some getting used to, but you're looking for the way the lines converge and trying to keep equal amount of space uh, between this part in the edge and this part in the edge. So you're kind of creating a, a very slight convergence, but ultimately uh, echoing the lines of the box itself. So same with this, is that, is that parallel or close to it? It should get slightly wider on this end than it is on that end. This end is difficult to judge because it looks like the M should go out, but nope, the M is a vertical M, so that's more accurate. Scaling it can be done with just back to the regular transform tool or scale itself. Holding option allows you to keep it centered as you hold shift. Let's just see how it looks one way and the other way. Here's what it did look like. And here's what it does look like more in three dimensions, according to the perspective of the scene.